The National Regeneration Movement Spanish, Movimiento Regeneración Nacional, also known by its acronym Morena Spanish for tanned, alluding to Mexico's national patroness the Tanned Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe, is a cardinist and social democratic political party in Mexico. Established as a non-profit organization in 2011 and formally registered as a political party in 2014, it was led by three-time presidential candidate and current president of Mexico, Andrés Manuel López Obrador until 12 December 2017, when he registered himself as a candidate for the party's nomination, and was succeeded by Yadko Polovyansky Gerwitz. For the 2018 general elections, it formed the coalition Juntos Haremos Historia Together We'll Make History along with the left-wing Labour Party and right-wing Social Encounter Party. It won the presidency with 53% of the popular vote, and won a majority in both the Senate and Chamber of Deputies. History Early years Morena was officially founded by Andrés Manuel López Obrador as a non-profit, structured as a socio-political movement to protest against political corruption, electoral fraud and the policies of what he labeled the mobsters of power. Drawing support from the Yo Soy 132 student movement it became a cross-party organization supporting his candidacy for the presidency in the 2012 general election on 2 October 2011. Following López Obrador's loss in the 2012 election, he left his former party, the Party of the Democratic Revolution PRD, and Morena transformed from an unofficial movement into a political party with López Obrador as its leader. A couple of days after his departure from the PRD, Federal Deputy Ricardo Monreal stated it was a divorce for convenience and that López Obrador did the most responsible thing in order to avoid the polarization of the country. According to polls and surveys, most of the Mexican public had negative view on the establishment of Morena as a political party. On 7 January 2014, Marty Baders, president of Morena, presented the documentation to the INE to be acknowledged political party. In 2014, López Obrador revealed why he left the PRD, stating, I left the PRD because the leaders of that party betrayed the people, they went with Peña Nieto and approved the Pact for Mexico, which is nothing more than a pact against Mexico, I cannot be in a party where tax increases were approved and it was approved that they will increase the price of gasoline every month. Gasoline in Mexico costs more than in the United States, the salary in Mexico is the lowest in the entire North American continent, and instead of asking for wage increases, the PRD rose to the podium to ask for the increase in the price of gasoline, it's an embarrassment. After Cuauhtémoc Cárdenas criticized him for forming his own political party, on 7 July 2014, López Obrador posted on social media that PRD leaders and most of its legislators voted for the fiscal reforms raising taxes and gas prices and with their collaboration they paved the way for privatization of the oil industry. On 10 July 2014, the INE approved Morena to be an official political party to receive federal funds and to participate in the 2015 legislative elections. 2015 Mexican legislative elections the 2015 legislative elections was the first election where Morena participated as an official political party. It managed to win 35 seats in the Chamber of Deputies, 14 district seats plus 21 proportional seats. Topic: <laughs> Juntos Haremos Historia 2017 present. The 2018 general election was the first presidential election in which Morena participated. Morena fought the election in coalition with Socialist Labour Party PT and the right-wing Christian Conservative Social Encounter Party PES under the name Juntos Haremos Historia. Background On 24 June 2017, the PT agreed to fight the 2018 election in an electoral alliance with Morena, however the coalition was not officially registered with the National Electoral Institute the country's electoral authority. 
For Morena, the alliance was facilitated by the withdrawal of the PT's candidate Oscar González Yáñez, who resigned his candidacy and called for votes in favor of Delfina Gómez Álvarez, standard bearer in the state elections of the state of Mexico in 2017. In October 2017, at PT's National Congress, as party president Alberto Anaya was re-elected to another six-year term, PT formalized its coalition with Morena. At first, there was speculation about the possibility of a front grouping all the left-wing parties, Morena, the PRD, PT and the MC. However, López Obrador rejected any kind of agreement due to political differences, especially after the elections in the state of Mexico, when the candidates of the PRD and MC continued with their campaigns refusing to support the Morena candidate. At the end of November 2017, the leaders of Morena and the PES announced that they were in talks to form a possible alliance, Hugo Eric Flores Cervantes, president of the PES, said. We don't negotiate with the PRI, we have two options, go alone or with Morena. Confirmation On 13 December 2017, PES joined the coalition between Morena and the PT, and it was formalized under the name Juntos Haremos Historia English, Together We Will Make History. Following the signing of the agreement, López Obrador was appointed as a pre-candidate for the three political groups. It was a partial coalition that supported López Obrador as the presidential candidate and divided the legislative elections between the three. Morena chose candidates in 150 federal electoral districts out of 300 and 32 Senate rates, while the PT and the PES each nominated 75 candidates for the Chamber of Deputies and 16 for the Senate. The alliance received criticism as it was a coalition between two left-wing parties, Morena and the PT, with a formation related to the evangelical right PES. In response, Morena National President Yitkel Polovienski said that her party believes in inclusion and teamwork to rescue Mexico and that they will continue to defend human rights. In turn, Hugo Eric Flores Cervantes, national president of the PES, said that the only possibility of real change in our country is the one headed by Andrés Manuel López Obrador and that his party had decided to be on the right side of history. Results Following the results on 1 July 2018, candidate Andrés Manuel López Obrador won the presidential election with 53% of the popular vote. Morena won a total of 55 seats in the Senate, 42 constituency seats and 13 proportional representation seats. It won 156 seats in the Chamber of Deputies, 106 based on district and 85 proportional representation seats. It also won four governorships, Mexico City, Chiapas, Tabasco, and Veracruz. Ideology Morena describes itself as a left-wing party which supports ethnic, religious, cultural and sexual diversity, respect for human rights and environmental care. It describes itself as an opponent to the neoliberal economic policies that Mexico has adopted since the 1980s. Morena states that a new economic model is necessary, and the party supports development through private and social business, promoting competition, but exercising state responsibility in the strategic activities which the Constitution states, and proposes a model that strengthens the inner market, fair wages, a model that promotes syndical freedom and democracy, where the state doesn't intervene in the inner affairs of the trade organizations." The party sets to "...stop the privatization of Pemex," and the granting of lands to foreign mining companies who "...devastate the lands, pay no taxes and harm the environment." Morena also declares to be in favor of better treatment of the indigenous peoples and to carry out the 1996 San Andres Accords, which were signed by the EZLN and representatives of the Mexican government, but later rejected by then President Ernesto Zedillo. The party states to be against the monopolization of the mass media, especially television, by Televisa and TV Azteca, which together own 90% of the Mexican television. López Obrador's pragmatism Various outlets have described the National Regeneration Movement as, "...not in the strict sense a political party, but an alliance of diverse movements and political actors, whose main reference is its founder and presidential candidate, Andrés Manuel López Obrador." 
Therefore, due to Obrador's pragmatism, some critics have claimed that Morena is subject to Obrador's own decisions rather than having a more consistent ideology as a party. He has been described as a populist and nationalist. Electoral history Presidential elections Legislative elections Chamber of Deputies Senate elections Topic List of Party Presidents Topic See also Yo Soy one hundred thirty two twenty twelve Mexican elections protests Number one DMX twenty twelve presidential inauguration civil unrest Mexican indignados movement Big Tent <laughs>